I'm Daniel Hess. I'm the children's librarian at Albany Library. I'm a part of the library book savers. Our first act of whistleblowing protested the excessive weeding of books from this library. Today, I am blowing the whistle on the weeding of our First Amend Amendment rights. Between 9-3 and 9-16, the group tried three times to post flyers about this meeting on the, community, the public community board in the hallway. Eventually, we revised the flyer until it was non-controversial. After looking at the final flyer, Deb Sika took it and said she'd post it. She never did. She never did. Denying this local group, Library Book Savers, access to the centrally located board seen by many library patrons. Deb Sika's actions violate the First Amendment and the ALA Patrons' Bill of Rights. The library profession has interpreted these rights as they apply to display cases and bulletin boards. It's on their ALA website. I included it in the packet I passed around. Under those guidelines, the first flyer that we made, which was somewhat controversial, should have been permissible. And the second certainly was fine. If our branch librarian cannot be trusted with the basic charge of her office, protection of free speech, how can she be trusted to determine the eligibility of meeting room programs, controversial content, or the types of material on the shelves? Or, how can she represent the county library to the people of Albany, some of whom object to her weeding policy? By suppressing this flyer and coercing staff to go along with a violation of patrons' rights, let me digress a little, she sent an email to Susie and to me to take away all the flyers that had been put out in the lobby, and she required that uh, Susie take the uh, the posted the flyer off of the board. So we were coerced to go along with the violation of patrons' rights. For that reason, Deb Sika is unfit to lead a library and unwelcome to share her vision of where this library should go. I have 40 seconds left. Um, Ms. Martinez said she could not produce a list. The records retention schedule posted on the uh, library excuse me, the records retention, retention schedule posted on the county website says that the county library must retain records about its book stock, records related to the current holdings of the system. When David Ackowy requested a list, you could have, you could have uh, Gene Hofack could have uh, put out a list of all the current holdings, and by now, six months later, we would know what would have been discarded. You can also put all the purchase records for book acquisitions. These are required to be kept for five years, legally required to be kept. So yes, you can keep records and you can compare and give these people what they want.